Elisha Bon Automobile and Real Estate Mogul, Mr. Tayo Ayeni, pampered his adorable wife, Mrs. Aditutu Ayeni, to a grand 50th birthday celebration on Sunday, the 24th of November 2019, at the Anglican Church of Nativity, Park View Estate, Lagos. The celebrant, Mrs. Aditutu Ayeni, who looked adorable on her great day, effortlessly caught the attention of everyone present with her warm nature and charming smile. The delectable Mrs. Aditutu Ayeni was born on the 23rd of November, 1969. She's a trained lawyer and director of Sky Myth Motors Limited. Mrs. Aditutu Ayeni is also the managing director of Space Properties and a member of the Advisory Council of Grange School. Without a doubt, if Mr. Tayo Ayeni were to write a book on his success story, one name that will keep coming up will be Adichitu, his delectable soulmate. He has constantly said that he is grateful to his creator for making him cross path with a jewel of inestimable value like Adichitu. And for such a woman, he said, nothing will ever be too much to make her happy or to celebrate her. The high octane birthday party, which began with a church service at the Nativity Anglican Church, Park Viewer State Ikui, played host to lots of distinguished personalities. The Executive Governor of Ikita State, Dr. Kayode Fahimi, First Lady of Ogun State, Mrs. Bamidele Abiodun, Former First Lady of Ogun State, Mrs. Olufun Shamosun, Real Estate Mogul, Sir Oluo Keowo and wife, Lady Adejo Keo Keowo, Former Ogun State Commissioner for Commerce and Industry, Otsumba Bimbo Ashiru. Lady Midi Nibro of the Guardian newspaper, who just clocked 70 years. Irilu Abiola Dosumu, Hajia Bola Shagaya, Senior Pastor of Trinity House Church, Lagos, Pastor Itwai Gudalo, and many more important personalities. The church service kicked off with the opening hymn, titled, Oh Worship the King, led by the choir. The Epistle for the Service, which was taken from the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 4 to 9, was read by the celebrant, Mrs. Adetu Tuayeni. The scripture admonished Christians to rejoice in Christ and not to be anxious about anything, for in every situation by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, we should present our request to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, Guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things that are good report, if there's any virtue and if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. The things which you learned, and received and heard and saw on me, please do, and the God of peace will be with you. This is the word of the Lord. Yes. Venerable Tayo Aduluju, the vicar of the Anglican Church of the Nativity, Park Viewer State Ikoi, in his sermon, congratulated Mrs. Aditu Tuayeni for attending the Golden Age. His sermon, which was filled with eulogies for Mrs. Aditu Tuayeni, described her as an amazing lady of substance, charming, joyous, and honorable. Today is also a day of prayer for God to sustain what he has done in your life. And that's what I will do 
mostly in this sermon. We commit the remainder of your life to him. The rest shall be the best in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy birthday, Sister Tutu. Age with massive grace. When you told me you would be 50, I doubted you. I remember you were seated there. I asked you to produce your birth certificate, <laughs> which I'm still going to look at at the end of the service. But I know in Nigeria, people reduce their ages. They don't increase, so I, I believe you. <laughs> but you have plenty grace, and plenty grace shall rest on you. You are an amazing girl, an amazing lady of substance. May grace continually speak for you. The anointing of ease, anointing of freshness, and peace shall come upon you. You are simple, very, very simple, and elegant, joyous, compassionate, charming, graceful, beautiful, adorable. You always be honored among men in Jesus' name. The communion service followed afterwards as the congregation took turns to eat and drink from the body of Christ. This was quickly followed by the Thanksgiving session as friends and family members danced joyfully, giving glory to God for the life of Mrs. Adetu Tuayeni. <laughs> There was also a brief presentation by the Agape Christian Sisters, a group in the Anglican Church which the celebrant belongs to. Thereafter, a special birthday song was sang for the celebrant, Mrs. Aditu Tuayeni, by the congregation. Happy returns of today, long life and prosperity. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! The processional hymn brought the service to an end. The theme of the reception night, Elegance Best with Fascinator, was well interpreted by guests as they all looked exquisite in their various attires as they made their way into the exquisitely decorated hall of the Harbour Point, Wilmot Road, Victoria Island, Lagos. In attendance were the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Femi Badabiamila, Governor of Ogun State, Prince Dakwa Biodu and wife, Mrs. Bamidele Abiodu, Governor of Kwara State, Alahaji Abdurrahman Abdurrazak, 
Chief Olushegun Shoba and wife. Immediate past Governor of Ogun State, Senator Ibikula Mosu and wife, Mrs. Funsha Mosu. Former Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Femi Pedro. Also in attendance were the President, Dangote Group, Alahaji Aliku Dangote, Alahaji Razak Okoya and wife, Chief Mrs. Falashari Okoya, Prince Shegwa Wolowo, Executive Director, Nigerian Export Promotion Council, Senator Buruji Kashamu, Sir Mike Inegbese and wife, Ulurugu Dr. Sonny Kuku, the Chairman and CEO Biscon Communications, Prince Bessie Lantilo, and many more important personalities. The reception ceremony, which was compared by TA, kicked off officially with the grand entry of the birthday girl, Mrs. Aditu Tuayeni, fondly referred to by her loved ones as the Dancing Queen. She made her graceful walk through the aisle, dancing to the rhythm of the music. Friend, through thick and thin, and thanked her for being by her side through her days of grief. Following quickly was the kick cutting exercise as the celebrant was joined by her family members and dignitaries who graced the occasion. I, our name signifies nothing but peace, calmness, and so on. Usually, on a day like this, people say spell love, spell joy, spell, but she has chosen for us to spell peace, and that is the personality that she is. Such a peaceful one. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we go ahead and spell the word peace? P E A C E Peace. Husband of the celebrant, Mr. Tayo Ayeni, presented a special birthday tribute to his beloved wife, Mrs. Aditu Ayeni, in form of a poem. He reaffirmed his love for her and described her as a solid rock, supporter, and a godsend. This beautiful show of affection was thereafter sealed with a kiss between the two lovebirds. I want to say big thank you to you, Adetu, the mother of my children, Martin, Matilda, Fisayo, Bemiga, Asimilua, my love. Thank you for being my solid rock and a life partner. I'm sure if it wasn't you, I wouldn't be married today because you have endured a lot. You have really endured a lot. You have endured a lot. You know, you were there during the bad and good times. You are indeed a godsend to me. Thank you, my lovely wife. May the next 50 years be more blessed than the first. I bet you to. I love you forever. The icing on the cake was a surprise appearance by the King of World Beat, King Sonia Day, which took the event a notch higher. <laughs> We'll be in the 
more merriments filled the air as the sugar band played all night long. From Biscon Communications, it's 50 hearty cheers to Mrs. Adetutu Ayeni. Happy birthday.